Well, another night of violent protest on the streets of Belarus with clashes between police and demonstrators and at least one person dying in that violence. Demonstrators are angry, saying that Alexander Lukashenko stole the presidential election. Already in power for 26 years, he's now poised to begin a sixth term. His main challenger in the vote, Svetlana Tchikanovskaya, has left the country. To find out more about that, we're going to cross to our correspondent, Gulliver Craig, who's been following the election in Belarus closely for us. Gulliver, uh, what more can you tell us about why Tikeskaya left Belarus? Well, the information is just coming out, basically, with the independent Belarusian media site Tut Bai reporting that Svetlana Tikhanovskaya agreed to leave the country in order to secure the release of her colleague Maria Moroz. And I think they're both now in Lithuania. But Svetlana Tikhanovskaya's colleagues in Belarus said that some of their team were still in detention there in the country. What we know for sure is that Svetlana Tikhanovskaya went to the Central Electoral Commission in Minsk um, in the afternoon or early evening yesterday in order to bring her official complaint about the election result, which she considers to have been falsified. And she was there for three hours before leaving in the company of her lawyer, who, from whom she then parted, saying, I've made my decision. And then for a while, she was... Um, people didn't know where she was. And the Lithuanian foreign minister, Linus Linkovicius, said that he was worried about her. And it was he who tweeted at 8.30 this morning local time that she was now in Lithuania and that she was safe. So at first it was thought that she had fled under threat. Now it seems it may have been more like a negotiated departure and that the Belarusian authorities themselves escorted her to Lithuania. Yesterday morning in a press conference she had said that she wouldn't be leaving the country and that the authorities had no reason to arrest her. But she did seem visibly anxious and stressed during that press conference and I think it's pretty understandable considering that her husband is already in jail and that the couple have young children. OK, so Tikhanovskaya now in Lithuania, Gulliver, but back in Belarus, uh, the, a lot of people were on the streets for a second consecutive night, clearly angry over those election results. What are you hearing in terms of uh, their plans to move forward? Well, one thing you've got to remember is that Svetlana Tikhanovskaya is not the leader of these protests. People are protesting spontaneously to defend what they see as her election victory. But she's been very careful to refrain from calling for mass protests. Uh, she calls on people to refrain from violence and says that she doesn't recognise the election results. But her absence is not likely to change the dynamic of the pro uh, protests all that much because they're being organised um, by online bloggers and uh, basically grassroots activists and a very influential blogger Nexta is today calling for a general strike. So we'll see how many people follow that call and refuse to go to work today. OK, Gulliver will no doubt check back in with you as things unfurl. But for now, thanks indeed to Gulliver Craig reporting for us there.